It's Malia with the Malia Realty Group at Keller Williams Bluegrass. And today's Thursday, the last day of January of 2019. I can't believe it's already been 31 days in 2019. And I wanted to have a true Thursday with you guys because I'm not sure if any of you are like me, but 31 days ago, we were making New Year's resolutions and goals. And how many of us actually made a New Year's resolution or a goal that we're willing to admit 31 days later? I know in the past I've made resolutions and I have not been very good about keeping them. I do know that I've also learned to make goals and I'm usually pretty good about keeping those. But they've always been focused on business or doing things out and about around the community. And this year I just wanted to keep it simple for me personally. My business plan is very detailed this year because I have extremely high goals and I hope all of you will help me with them. But personally, I had one focus. My only focus was to get in shape, to get my health and my body into the best shape I could because I'm 51 and I'm proud of it. I know I look like 29. Most days I feel like 29, but there, there's getting more days that I wasn't feeling like 29. And when I couldn't get those jeans on or the pants or half the closet um, clothes hanging there on, I realized that I really needed to do something and I wanted to take my body back because there's beauty inside and out and I know beauty inside is far more important than beauty outside, but when we don't feel good on the outside, it affects our confidence, it affects um, our motivation level, and it just puts us in a bad mood. And I was tired of being in a bad mood about how I felt. So I joined Lean with Amanda and my buyer's agent Naomi and I decided we were gonna do this together. Will and Brendan, my two amazing boys, have totally motivated me with their intensity and their passion to get their bodies back and get into a healthy lifestyle. And I thought it's high time that mama gets there too. So we started this program and I'll tell you, it's been tough. It's been really tough. In fact, last week I wanted to quit because I wasn't seeing the results that I wanted to see for all the work and all the effort that I was putting into it. And this week, I'm starting to see the results. And I'm so proud of myself for not giving up. And I'm so thankful that I have someone to share this journey with. But let me tell you the two things that I've realized in the process that have been very um, eye-opening to me and big ahas. The first thing was I needed to look at my mindset and my habits. And we think and how we think affects our thoughts and our thoughts affect our actions and our actions create habits and our actions and habits create results. Well, I had to look at why I was thinking the way I did and why I was forming the habits in the manner I was and why I thought it was okay. And that realization of my mindset was probably the biggest aha. Why did I think it was okay not to eat well? Why did I think it was okay not to get enough sleep? Why did I think it was okay not to exercise? I know I need these things. So getting up at 5.30 in the morning was difficult, but I convinced myself that I didn't need to do it. Now I convince myself that if I don't do it, it's gonna ruin my day. So realizing the mindset, getting better habits has been a tremendous contribution to the success I'm feeling today. The second thing I realized was I need to follow a schedule. And at Keller Williams, we preach it. We preach following a schedule. We preach that if you don't follow a schedule, you're not gonna reach your goals. And I took that concept that I preach about when I'm training other agents, and I applied it to my personal life. And I made my schedule. And I color-coded my schedule just like they teach me. And I've been following that schedule. And it's been absolutely amazing because not only am I reaching my personal goals of getting into better health, but I'm also reaching my business goals. Because by following the schedule, I have given myself permission to say no. I have given myself permission to be intentional. I'm not busy, I'm intentional with every minute of my day. And I have time block times just to go out and be with the girls and be with my family. And I've time blocked part of my day not to answer the phone and not to answer text messages or let people inside my office because that interrupts my priorities. 
So it's been a great learning experience. And I, although I didn't see results of my personal goal for three weeks, I stayed the task. I stayed on the goal because I was changing my mindset and I was following the schedule. And now 31 days later, it's the first time in five years I have not quit my goal to get in better shape. And I'm super excited and so excited that I realize goals mean, how about this acronym, getting over all limitations. That's my acronym for goal. And I remind myself and I put it all over my house, getting over all limitations. So let me ask you, what are your limitations to the goals and the resolutions that you set on January 1st? And are you on track? And are you reaching them? And if you're not, you have 11 months still to go. Don't give up. We are here to inspire you and keep you accountable. And if there's anything I can do to help you stay on track, let me know. Be accountable. Comment below what your resolution is. Let's all be accountable to each other. Let's collaborate. It's my favorite word for the year. Our collaborative conversations have been tremendous this year. We've had four great businesses that we've spotlighted. I can't wait for you guys to see the other 48 that we have planned for you. And I want you to have an amazing 2019. So let's do this together. If there's anything I can do to help you stay on task with your goals, let me know. And let me tell you, in three more weeks, I'm gonna announce how much weight I've lost, how many inches are off me, and I'm gonna start it all over again. And I'm gonna keep this cycle going because I am going to reach my goals this year. And I hope you'll join me. Hey, and remember, when you're ready to buy, sell, build, or invest, I'm your girl, Just Ask Malia. Stay tuned for the next Truth Thursday.